Ah, the back scratcher. A giant rake covered in blood. What more could you want? Huh? You want speed? What if I were to tell you that the power jack is no longer the go-to pyro melee that it once was after the gunmetal update? This is a tutorial on how to effectively use the back scratcher. Let's go! Sure, the power jack can get you to where you need to be in a matter of seconds, but how much use does it really have? Besides speed, the amount of health it gives per kill isn't worth the use in terms of battle. As for the negative side effects, it has a bullet resistance that makes you insanely vulnerable to a well-placed sniper. The bullet resistance doesn't seem like that much of a problem at first, but when you accidentally get speedy in an open area, BOOM! A single headshot does 180 damage, instantly killing the pyro. Negatives aside, it gives you great speed to get to where you want to be in a matter of seconds. What makes an absurd tool like the Backscratcher better than the Power Jack? For one, the damage is increased by 20%. It's 81 damage per swing and can kill most classes in two swings with a tidbit of fire helping along the way. This makes for a great flank power weapon, and since you are already faster than most classes, the speed won't matter when catching up to them. The other positive effects to this weapon that makes it super amazing for flank pyros is the extra health pickups. Medium health packs now heal up to 130 health per use. That's insane when you think about it. When you're a flank pyro, you're going to be everywhere the opponents think you aren't. The health packs are like having a crusader's crossbow up your butt and instantly firing. However great it seems, the main reason nobody uses this melee is the negatives it provides. Health gain decrease for medics. It essentially takes a hella long time for you to get healed by the medic, and in most cases it isn't worth it for a pyro to stick by the medic. That is according to the pros. The longer it takes to heal the pyro, the more uber charged the medic will get. Wait what? How does that work? Since it takes a super long time to get the pyro to overheal, the uber charge will build at max speed for a longer period of time. Great. But how does that help with the average pyro? Many medics usually aren't aware that healing a back scratcher helps them more than hurts them. It's mainly a strategy used when the medics actually have a brain. However, even so, any pub medic will have a standard. Heal until he's fully overhealed. So how is this better than the power jack? Mainly because it uses a more effective way of playing pyro than the usual sit back and do nothing. If you're the average pub player, then I recommend you take up flank pyro. Notice where people often don't look and abuse the hell out of that. If people are more focused on taking you out from the back, you're doing a huge service to your team. A distraction is hard to come by these days, and a pyro will do more use up front than it will from the back. He is an offensive class for a reason. If you are the typical comp player, before you write the most hate-filled comment of the century, you've got to understand. The more you use the power jack, the more harmful it becomes. Take basketball players, for example. How do you expect them to practice jumping? There are these things called ankle weights that they use to handicap themselves. It makes it more difficult for them to jump, but after a week, it becomes like normal jumping to them with the weights on. When you take them off, BAM! You jump insanely high. Too long, didn't read. If you expect to be the best pyro, how do you expect to do that by using easy tools? If you can do great as pyro with the power jack, you'll, do, you'll be the best pyro with the back scratcher. Also, next time you play with your team, suggest a strategy where the pyro gets damaged a little more and heal him for the faster uber. It's like having a Boston Basher scout hurting himself without making him useless on the battlefield. As always, everyone has their opinions that suit their TF2 needs, and that's what makes TF2 one of the best games to play, with its vast variety of gameplay. However, some people are more experienced than others, and it's often good to heed advice. As a gold medic myself, I love seeing Backscratcher Pyros helping the team out since 90% of the time the team is at a standstill waiting for an uber anyways. I hope this helps you out, and uh, I hope to see more Backscratchers in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And oh, what's that over there on the bottom right corner of the video? You should click it if you want to subscribe. It shows that my tutorials are helping you, and that I should make more. Remember to be awesome, stay awesome, and to have an awesome day. I'm Rob the Awesome, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now.